Lydia and George are the parents of two children. This family lives in an amazing house called Everything for Happiness. The modern is fully provided. All work at home is loved by machines and robots. Wendy and Peter like their room the most. Children's delight is uplifting. Over time, parents have doubts about the children's room. After all, children want their home to turn into a wild African landscape, lions walk around the house and eat carcasses. The fascination of children with Africa would not be so strange if George and Lydia did not experience fong marks in their children's things. Parents were even more frightened by the desire to watch children fight deadly battles between wild animals, and sounds very similar to their own voices and screams. Worried, they turned to psychologist David McLean for help. After listening to the story about the family, move to live in the village and give preference to the help of robots and any technology. He suggested that the smart home be turned off so that the children would not become so attached to the fictional influence. The children were horrified by such a decision and begged their parents to go into the room for the last time and say goodbye to her because they were so used to the corner of autumn. George and Lydia agreed. But when they come to visit the children, they discover their parents. The adults are left alone with the ferocious lions, they can't do anything, they can't turn off their house. Soon the psychologist arrives. In the nursery, Dr. McLean found Peter and Wendy having lunch quietly in their room. In the distance, wild cats feasted over the corpses. Children have so often fantasized about lions mauling their parents that it has become a reality. The story teaches not to indulge in fantasies of violence, and also that the frequency of fantasies and reality is important. Do not get attached to the fictional world. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did and be sure to subscribe thank you.